Bulldog Country, this week I got the chance to talk with number 47 on the women's hockey team, Jess Healy, about the upcoming season as well as getting to know her a little bit better. For UMD, take another look at it. Sarah Kelly put it home, a freshman. He's a big young boy. Here's a chance in front. They score! Corrin flipped it in there. I a follow went to the net. They combined to get Minnesota. Okay. Hey, Bulldog Country. My name is Jess Healy. Um, I'm on the women's hockey team here. I'm a senior I'm from Edmonton, Alberta, and I'm a psychology major. This weekend, the Bulldogs did kick off their 2017-18 season here at Amsoil Arena with an exhibition game against the Minnesota Whitecaps. You guys ended up winning 4-1 with you netting a goal yourself. What did the team do to prepare for this game, and uh, what were the overall thoughts? Um, yeah, obviously uh, very happy with the win. Um, as for preparing for the game, um, we took it as any other week. We did our workouts, practices. Um, and you know we we're we we're really excited so I think there was just a lot of hype and uh, yeah just feels good to get the first win. And how did it feel to get your first goal of the season? Yeah it feels good, it feels good to get the first one out of the way for sure. And going back a little bit last season was a very successful season for the Bulldogs. You did lose seven players at the conclusion of the season and with those seven players there was a lot of point production that was lost as well. How has the team adjusted to losing those key players and what can we kind of expect from the Bulldogs this season? Yeah, we definitely did lose some uh, pretty key players, um, but you know, looking at our roster this year, we got a lot of, a lot of new kids coming in, a lot of new faces, so um, for them, you know, we need them to step up and uh, play some big roles, fill those shoes. Um, same with some of the upperclassmen, we got to fill those roles. Um, and I think to expect for the Bulldogs, we're going to be a fast, hard-working team. Um, as always, coach loves that, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. Perfect. And going off that again, sophomore goaltender Maddie Rooney had quite an impressive season last year as well. This year she is red shirting to play for the U.S. national team. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Um, but this year you got a transfer student in from Mercyhurst College. Mm -hmm. What has it been like as a defense to adjust to that major change between pipes? Yeah, uh, really happy for Maddie, first of all. We've uh, been following her, which, uh, which is awesome. We're, we're really happy for her. Um, yeah, as for our goalies, um, you know, we're confident with who we have back there, but for the decor, we want to help them out as much as we can and um, keep teams to the outside, uh, block shots, and do everything we can to just help them out. But like I said, we're, we're confident with who we have back there. This year you were named as one of three assistant captains to the team. What does that leadership role mean to you? Um, it's a huge honor. Um, just looking at some of the leaders that have uh, worn the letter in the past, uh, just to be in the same category as them is a huge honor. So uh, I'm really humbled and uh, I'm excited. Is there any key takeaways that you can think of um, that you want to model like the previous captains have? Yeah, absolutely. Um, just looking at last year, uh, our captains, Ashley Bricklick and Sid Morin, uh, two people I really looked up to, so um, obviously I want to try and be like them and um, yeah, just, just try and fill those, fill those shoes. And looking ahead, uh, in January you are going to be part of the first ever women's outdoor college hockey game against St. Cloud State for Hockey Day Minnesota. What was the team's reaction to hearing that news? Yeah, lots of excitement. Um, it's definitely pretty special, pretty cool. Um, I think we've all grown up playing on outdoor rinks and stuff like that. So to actually play a game at the collegiate level, um, you know, outside, it's it's going to be a lot of fun, and we're excited. And adding to the list of first, you guys are going to play Penn State for the first time ever in the history of the program this weekend at Amsoil here. Uh, what is the excitement like? Um, we're <laughs> we're really excited. Yeah, um, Penn State um, can't rule them out. I mean, we've. Uh, We've talked about how important these out-of-conference games are, so um, we're excited. It's the home opener, um, yeah, and we're just ready to get things going here. And finally, what has been your favorite hockey memory so far as a Bulldog? Oh, that's a good one. Um, well, there's definitely been a lot, but I'd have to say scoring scoring my first goal uh, freshman year um, as, a, as a Bulldog. So it was here at Amsoil against Ohio State, um, something I'll never forget. 
Now Bulldog Country would like to get to know Jess a little better outside of hockey, so we're going to ask you a series of rapid fire questions for you to answer to the best of your ability. Are you ready? Let's go. If you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? Um, I'd probably say invisibility. Um, I think it'd be just really handy and pretty cool. What is your least favorite food? Brussels sprouts. What is your favorite season and why? Um, probably just winter because it's hockey season. Are you a good dancer? No. Who is the funniest person you know? Jalen Elms. What is your favorite hobby other than hockey? Fishing. What is your dream travel destination? Uh, Italy. And last but not least, if you're stranded on a deserted island and had to choose one or two of your teammates to be stranded with, who would it be and why? Um, I would probably pick Jay. Um, just like I said, she's the funniest person I know and I think it'd be pretty funny to be stranded with her. <laughs>